Good day, my friends out there in YouTube land. It's P. Walpar. I got a late start today, and it's been a pain. Let me tell you, a pain. When you got to get down on the ground to do stuff and try to get back up two or three times, it's a pain. But I just got through putting the air filter and changing, uh, changing the oil filter, air filter, and changing the oil. On this zero turn on, it spilled oil in a couple places. I sprayed some liquid soap on it a while ago to soak it up out of the driveway, but that's good. I'm usually I spill a lot more than that. I think I'm gonna pull out my generator and see if I can get that started today. Do a cold start on my generator. I ain't guaranteeing it'll start. It's been a long time since I started it. I worked on it here three or four months ago, putting it up on that trailer, but I didn't do a run on it. Yesterday I charged it for a little bit and I got it back on charge now. We're going to pull it outside the garage here and see what she start. If I got any petrol. And my notion is if my generator will run my electric chainsaw. It's just a ride around on that tractor and on that lawnmower. With an extension cord hooked up and running the, the saw. I think about one harbor break and get me one of them pole saws so I can reach up and cut limbs without climbing a ladder. Well, it just dawned on me. I've been so busy with other projects, I never finished this one. I didn't paint this darn thing. I knew I bought that black paint for something. We're going to try a cold start. All right, generator, don't disappoint me. Let me see if you're gonna turn over. Let's see, that's the choke right there, I think. I don't remember. Put my saw over here, it might vibrate off. Well, I had a bit of a trouble getting my generator running, and I thought the carburetor was acting up, but it turned out that that's a gravity-fed fuel system. Uh, gas has to run downhill to get to the carburetor, but the long fuel hose I had on it kind of went uphill. I had it tied up with a zip tie. And the tank being almost virtually empty and my driveway sloped a little bit, it wasn't getting adequate gas to the carburetor. Once I took my wire cutters and cut them zip ties and lowered the fuel line where it would be more of a downhill grade, I was able to start the generator quite easily. So I need to shorten that fuel line and make sure it's downhill all the time. But it ran pretty good. I hooked up my chainsaw to it and the chainsaw ran just fine. Someone get me a pole saw from Harbor Freight and see if I can't cut a lot of these limbs without ever getting off my lawnmower. Just drive up under the tree and go to whacking.
my ethanol gas and all my equipment from now on, so I gotta drive 20 miles to get there. Got just a tiny little bit of gas in that generator, and it's been in there a long time. So I'm trying to run it out, plus give my generator a little running time. tank is almost completely empty. I didn't wait. I don't want to get the carburetor completely drained out because I'm going to try to start it again in the next couple of days. Before I do that, we'll make sure we got the ample amount of oil in there. I bought that generator on eBay some years back. Came in from somewhere down in South Florida. It ain't fancy like some of these new Fandango generators, but it works. It might be the only generator trailer of its kind. I guarantee you there ain't another one like it. That's an original P. Wall Power production. Thanks for tuning in, my friends. We're going to town to get some gas.